And Kira Konstantin of Canada goes on the inside in lane two. The Toronto athlete who was fourth in the Canadian Championships in a season's best of 51.78, but she has run under 51. This promises then to be a very competitive second heat. The uh, qualifying conditions reasonably generous. First three go through by oh, right, and then if you uh, do finish fourth but run a have a solid race, you've got a good chance of getting one of those non-automatic qualifier spots. And then 48 hours rest until the semi-finals on Friday. Two heats to come after this. Constantine of Canada in two, Amova of Nigeria in three, then Mutura of Kenya in four, the Maldive athlete Hassan in five, Richard of Malta in six, Abraham Zagai in a seven, Nicole Yergin, almost in front of a home crowd, the Scot goes in lane eight. Set. Beautiful blue track, isn't that a glorious scene? It looks like it's been washed by the rain from earlier on this morning. Yergin has gone off well, left a picture, but so too indeed inside her has uh, Abrams of Guyana. If anything's closed up to the Scots a little bit, going really well in lanes up uh, three and four. Aramova of Nigeria in the green strip, third from right, and uh, Mutura of Kenya. has got a bit of work to do at the moment in four. Good running two in lane two from Kara Constantine of Canada, but on the outside, probably going best of all is Abrams of Guyana. The Guyana athlete leading off the final bend into the straight, although really good running and a well-judged race from the Canadian Constantine in two. So far, Jürgen's got a bit of work to do. Jürgen in the blue for Scotland nearest the camera, getting into third place. The winner's going to go to Constantine in lane two. A really solid run from her. Second there is Abrams in lane seven, and Jürgen does take that vital third spot. Qualifies by right, 52 Zero three there, the winning time for Constantine. That's only a couple of clicks outside her season's best, so a really solid run. Not quite as quick as Uhurugu's winning time in the first heat, that was 51 34, but a job really well done there by Kyra Constantine of Canada. Yeah, you said it was going to be competitive, Tim, and it was. Quite a lot of energy was expended in that second heat. Hands on hips. Even when you're tired, you just have to walk off, pretend you're not. Don't show your competitors any fatigue in any shape or form. And as you say, Yigin got out to a good start. Another athlete in good form this year, the Scottish athlete, born in Maryland in the USA. Had her upbringing over there, but her mother hails from Dunfermline and was clear to represent Scotland in May in 2020. She'd already had the stagger, hadn't she, outside of her, dragged back by Abrams in lane number seven. So running to 300 metres. And you talked about the schedule. The semi-final is on Friday. The final is on Sunday. Two days between every round. Every athlete's different. Did you I ever have enjoy to say, that, I hated that, rest that much days. Luxury? Why? I love them. No. <laughs> it, it, I don't want to go back to when the world was grey 22 years ago, but in Sydney 2000, we had four rounds, a heat, a second round, a semi and a final in consec on consecutive days. And it, we liked it because it doesn't give your body a chance to Recover. relax. It doesn't give your body a chance <laughs> to shut down because when you shut down, then you have to get back up again. Really? For some athletes, it's hard. But isn't a one-off race fresh better than a series of races close together? Everybody's different, Tim. We had it at the World Championships recently, the 400 metre schedule for the likes of Matt Hudson-Smith, who's coming up shortly, and Michael Norman. It was really spaced out and rest days were given. Everybody's different, of course. Well, Cara Constantine gave 100% there. She really did, as did Simwaka, who took that third place in the uh, first heat, the Malawian, running a personal best of 52.19. She collapsed across the line. I think you said, Rob, she was wallowing in a sea of lactic, but she made it through. And uh, in this second heat of the women's 400 metres, just confirming it was Constantine of Canada, Abraham Zagana and Jürgen of Scotland who did get through by right with Mutua of Kenya, 53-02 for uh, fourth place. Well, you mentioned the blue track, Tim. A little story for those English football fans, especially fans around the Commonwealth and the world of Premier League football. A mile down the road in B6, he's one of the founding members of the English Football League my home team of Aston Villa. And those that know the colours of English football team Aston Villa is Clariton Blue. Now, this is a very blue track. 
which is close to the colours of Birmingham City, which is another top football team here. But the two people, the main people involved with laying this track are Aston Villa fans. So apparently there's a little bit of claret sprinkled into the blue track that you were enthusing about there, Tim. Yes, I had heard that rumour. You must be <laughs> delighted about that, Kath. Kyra Constantine was indeed the winner ahead of Ab Abrams and uh, Nicole Jürgen there. One, two, three. Those three go through by right to uh, Friday's semi-finals. And Moutour will have to wait and see if that is good enough. 53-02. At the moment, she is the second fastest non-automatic qualifier. Remember, four non-automatic qualifier spots from these four heats. Yes, they're looking for 54.08 or better with two 